So we're in Fresno, California, just finished repairing a toilet here. Um, American Leak Detection came out and uh, ran some cameras down the lines to looking for a water leak and everything was great. Uh, they had to pop this toilet to do some of the work and then they discovered the flange, the closet flange on the floor was damaged. So uh, what we did is we cut out the portion that was popped up and took the old bolts out and went over and got uh, a replacement flange. It's a four inch soil pipe vertical and so we found a four inch um, outside diameter flange that glues into the existing. Additionally, by code, you need to fasten it to concrete or wood if it's a raised wood floor. And so we got Tapcon bolts, got a nice hammer drill, nice uh, carbide tip bit, and we've got six, uh, you know, all six holes filled. So we have two and a quarter, two and three quarter, two and three quarter inch Tapcon bolts in here. That's long. Uh, usually plumbers don't put that long a bolt in even when we're doing new construction. One of them has a three and a quarter because it was a little deeper, but uh, stainless steel washers, uh, two and three quarter Tapcom bolts. And then of course we use five sixteenths uh, bolts to mount the bowl to the floor, uh, five sixteenths by three and a half. And then we cut them down to length, brand new bolt cap kit there. And then cocked it back in. It is tipped slightly forward, front is down on floor. Bolts are up about a half a shim. Back is about up a full shim. So on the very back where the cocking ends back here, You've got a shim here on this side and then directly across and you can probably see it peeking out of the edge of the caulking right there. So a shim right there, shim on the other side. We do leave the back open. The reason why is if you do, for whatever reason along the way, if you do get a water leak down there, if, if, if the wax fails for whatever reason, you want a place for the water to escape so you can actually see it. If you caulk it in really, really super tight, then it just builds up underneath, sits on the flange, and it eats away, and you're back to square one. So we leave it open in the back. Anyways, it's caulked back in all the way around. It's water-based caulking, so give it 24 hours before you do any um, mopping in here to clean the floor up. But uh, tank bolt was loose as well on this side. Uh, you can see there was white scale buildup. It was dry, so it looks like it may have been something going on previously. But we got that tightened up, and so that's good. We've uh, filled the toilet. It's filling correctly shutting off correctly, flushing correctly. Uh, looks like we've worked on this uh, already because there's a quarter turn shutoff valve. It's one of our existing clients, so a quarter turn shutoff valve. Um, and maybe not because uh, there was a uh, a white nylon braided supply and we would give you a brand new 3 by 7 8 by 20 inch um, fluid master braided stainless steel supply up to the tank. Everything else in there is existing. I think we replaced the flapper in this toy. That was it. Fill valve is uh, is existing. This is a Toto product, so uh, if you need to replace that fill valve, it'll have to be a, a, a pure Toto product. And this is an outdated model. It's the 1.6 gallon. So anyways, everything looks good outside of that. This installation is done.